where the girls are so pretty, where the girls are so pretty, where the girls, where the girls, where the girls are so pretty, where the girls, where the girls, where the girls are so pretty. Molly Malone may be the most well-known Irish song all over the world. The song evokes Molly Malone, the emblematic fishmonger who walks through the streets of Dublin, wheeling her wheelbarrow and crying, Cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh! She will fall ill and uh, she will eventually die. But her ghost will keep on shouting through the streets of Dublin. Cockles and muscles! Alive, alive! In a Dublin's fair city where the girls are so pretty I first had my eyes on sweet Molly Malone. She wheeled her wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and the muscles, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying. Cockles and muscles alive, alive. Oh. She was a fishmonger, but it was no wonder, for such were her father and mother before. And they both will the barrow. Through streets broad and narrow, crime cockles and the muscles alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crime cockles and the muscles alive, alive. Oh. She tired of the fever, and none could relieve her, and that was the end of sweet Molly Malone. But her ghost wheels her barrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and muscles, alive, alive, oh. Crime cockles, cockles and muscles alive, 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 In a Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty. The next song is called Carrick Fergus. This song will take us from Carrick Fergus in the northeast of Ireland to the south of the island to Kilkenny. In this song, the hero has lost his love, his last, his true love, and that's why he drinks a lot to try to forget. As the song says, I'm seldom sober. He drinks and 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 drinks. But he's not able to forget. She has died. And that's why 
he would like to die as well. And that's why, addressing his friends, he tells them, Come, all you young men, and lay me down. Come, all you young men, and lay me down. Carrick Fergus. I wish I was in a Carrick Fergus only for nights in Ballygrand. I would swim over the deepest ocean, the deepest ocean I love to find. But the ocean is a deep, and I cannot swim over. Neither have I the wings to fly. If I could find a summer boatman to ferry me over, my love and I, to ferry me over. They have marble stones, as black as ink. With gold and silver, I would support her, but I'll sing no more till I get to drink. I'm a drunk today, and I'm sad I'm sober. And some rover from town to town. Oh, but I'm sick now, my days are numbered. Come, all of you young men, and lay me down. Come, all of you young men. And The Pretis. Ireland is potatoes, said once the Irish writer Oscar Wilde. And potatoes are Ireland, replied the also Irish writer George Bernard Shaw. And it is true that Ireland fed on potatoes for more than two centuries, so that when there was a shortage, people had to die of hunger or immigrate. The Pretis. Preti is a southern dialectal word for potato. The potatoes, the Pretis. Oh, the Pretis, they grow small. Over here, over here. Oh, the Pretis, they grow small. And we need them in the fall. And we need them coats and all. Over here, over here. Oh, I wish that we were kids night and morn, night and morn. Oh, I wish that we were kids and could live our lives in peace. To the hour of release, eating corn, eating corn. Oh, it down into the dust over here. Oh, it down into the dust. But the Lord in whom we trust will repay us crumb for crust over here, over here. Oh, the pretties, they grow small Over here, over here Oh, the 
Fred is the grass and we dig them in the fall and we them coats and all over here, over here. The Shores of America in the 19th century. The famines and the misery compelled a lot of Irish people to emigrate, especially to America, which became then a kind of promised land. So that the Irish population decreased from 6 million inhabitants to just half this number, 3 million. And that's why in so many Irish songs from the 19th century, we can so easily find expressions like farewell, fare well, bidding farewell, adieu, and so on. America is a dialectal word for what we call America, the shores of America. I'm bidding farewell to the land of my youth and all my love so well. And the mountains so grand in my own native land, I am bidding them all farewell. With an aching heart, I bid them adieu for tomorrow I'll sail far away. to seek home on the shores of America. And when I'm bidding my last farewell, the tears like rain will blind. To think of my friends in my unity land and the home I'm leaving behind. But if I am to die in a foreign land and be buried so far away, no fond mother's tears will be shed on my grave on the shores of America. On the shores of America. The Banks of the Ohio. In this song we shall be told about a young Irish man who has already emigrated to America but who has preserved his Irish mentality and his Irish behaviour. Rural societies and Ireland has always been so know very well what a crime of passion is. In this song, the boy, the hero, has to kill his girlfriend because he is afraid of her not loving him anymore and moreover of the fact that in the future there could be the slightest, the minimum possibility of her loving another man and that's why he has to kill her. Ohio. The Ohio is the name of the big river which crosses the state of Ohio in the states. The banks of the Ohio. I ask my love to take a walk, to take a walk, just a little walk, down beside where the waters flow, down by the banks of the Ohio. And in a world arms with twine Down beside where the waters flow Down by the banks of the Ohio I held a knife against her breast As into my arm she pressed she cried, oh, Willie, don't murder me. I'm 
have not prepared for eternity. I studied home between twelve and one. I cried, my God, what have I done? Kill the only girl I loved because she wouldn't be my love. I asked my girl to take a walk, to take a walk, just a little walk down beside where the waters flow, down by the banks of the Ohio. Nora. Irish people have always been reputed for their sentimentality. In the song, Nora, we shall be told about spring, little flowers, little birds, and a big, big, big love. Nora. The violets were sent in the woods, Nora. Displaying the charms of the bee When I first said I loved only you, Nora And you said you loved only me The chestnut blooms gleamed through the glade Nora, a robin sang loud from a tree when I first said I loved only you, Nora, and you said you loved only me. The garden of the fur is shown, Nora, and danced in the breeze on the lea. When I first said I loved only Said you loved only me. The trees, birds, and bees sang a song, no doubt, of happier transports to be. When I first said I loved only you, no doubt, and you said you loved only me. Plaisir d'amour. This song is not Irish, but French. And that's why the refrain is in French and not in English. Nevertheless, it became extremely popular in Ireland because it expressed very well the melancholy Celtic feelings. Plaisir d'amour. Plaisir d'amour ne dure qu'un moment. Chagrin d'amour dure toute la vie. The joys of love are but a moment long. The pains of love and you the whole night long. Your eyes kissed mine, I saw love in them 
sunshine. You brought me heaven on earth when your eyes kissed mine. My love loves me and all of the waters I see. In my window, my love loves me. But now she's gone, like dreams that fade into dawn. But she's still locked in my heartstrings. My love loves me. Fare thee well, Enniskillen. This song evokes the town of Enniskillen in the northeast of Ireland. This town is beautiful, surrounded by water. As the song says, your green isles will flourish, your waters will flow. But, unfortunately, the hero of the song loves the wrong girl because her family strongly disapproves him. Fare thee well, Ernest Kellen. Fare thee well, Ernest Kellen. Fare thee well for a while. Fare thee well, Ernest Kellen. Fare thee well. For a while, to all your fair waters and every green isle, all your green isles will flourish. Your fair waters flow, while I, from old Ireland, an exile must go. Her is as brown as the young raven's wing. Her eyes as clear as the bluebell of spring. And light was her love like the sun on the sea. She, the weight of the world, came between her and me. Oh, what can a man do when the world is his foe? And the look of the people fall on him like snow. But bitch is boldly and go away far to follow good fortune and get home in the world. When the worst comes to worst, shit is only to die. But the true love that loves me can hold her eye, can hold her eye, though the fond heart may break. For love lived bravely and tight for sake. Fare thee well, Anniskillen, 
Fare thee well for a while. Mary's Wedding, an optimistic and happy song to be happily danced at a wedding. Mary is the bride, she is pretty, as the song says, brighter far than any star. Mary's Wedding, <laughs> but first, let's toast to her and to her happiness. Mary, it's wedding. Step we gaily on we go, if for it and to for tell. Arm in arm and on we go, for Mary's wedding. Over the way, up and down, matter green and black and brown. Pass the city through the town, of for sake of Mary. Step we gaily on we go, if for it and to for tell. Arm in arm and on we go, for sake of Mary. Plenty herring, plenty meal, plenty pita fia creel, plenty bonny bents as we all that's a toast for Mary. Step we gaily on we go, if for it and to for tow, arm in arm and on we go for Mary's wedding. Cheeks as bright as romans are, brighter far than any stir. Fair is still the more by far is my darling Mary. Step we gaily on we go, if for it and to for tell. Arm in arm and on we go for Mary's wedding. Over the way up and down, met a green and black and brown. Pass the city through the town, of for sake of Mary. Step we gaily on we go, hill for hill and toe for toe, arm in arm and on we go, all for Marty's wordy. The Drunken Sailor, a very plain and optimistic and funny song where we are told that drunkards and drunken sailors have to be punished. Yes, because they have to remain always sober, very sober. The Drunken Sailor. What shall we do to drink and sail? Oh, what shall we do to drink and sail? Oh, what shall we do to drink and sail? Oh, early in the morning. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises early in the morning. Put the scouts by pony, put the scouts by pony, put the scouts by pony, early in the morning. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises early in the morning. I see her running, boring, just see her running, boring, just see her running, boring, early in the morning. Way, hey, up she rises, way, hey, up she rises, way, hey, up she rises, early in the morning. Put the brigand till he's sober, put the brigand till he's sober, put the brigand till he's sober, early in the morning. Way, hey, up she rises, way, hey, up she rises, way, hey, up she rises, early in the morning. Make you to a shiny bride, we'll make you to a shiny bride, we'll make you to a shiny bride, early in the morning. Way, hey, up she rises, way, hey, up she rises, way, hey, up she rises, early in the morning. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Sally Gardens. Sally Gardens is a poem composed by the great Irish poet Yeats. 
Kilkenny, Fiddy Well Cork, Fiddy Well Dublin, but you. Down by the sunny gardens, my love and tight it meet. She passed the sunny gardens with little snow white feet. She bid me take a love easy as the leaves grow on the tree. But I, being young and foolish, we heard it not agree. In a field down by the river, my love and tide it stunned, and on my leaning shoulder she let a snow white hand. She bid me take a life easy as the grass grows on the weeds. But I was young and foolish, and now I'm full of tears. Down by the sunny gardens, my love and tight it meet. She passed the sunny gardens with little snow white feet. She bid me take a love as the leaves grow on the tree. But I, being young and foolish, we heard it not agree. We heard it not agree. The show is over. Thank you very much for coming, ladies and gentlemen. But before you leave, I'm going to tell you who the dancers, who the dancing girls were. First of all, Cora. Cora, a typical Irish girl. Cora, you have danced pretty well, very, very well. You have deserved a bottle of Irish beer, a Guinness, because Guinness is good for you. Hang on. Can have a drink. Secondly, Claudia. Claudia is another typical Irish girl. Claudia, you have danced very, very well. You have deserved a bottle of Irish beer. In your case, let's say a red Murphy's. All right, so hang on. A Murphy's for you. And finally, Isa, another typical Irish girl. Isa as uh, Cora and uh, Claudia have done, you have danced pretty, pretty well. You have deserved, you too, a bottle of Irish beer. In your case, um, uh, Kilkenny, all right? Hang on. A Kilkenny for you. And for me, for myself, for myself, well, I'm going to tell you the truth. They are Irish, the three of them, but I'm not. 
me and Spanish. I am the typical Spaniard. So I can't drink Irish beer. I have to drink Spanish wine. Spanish red wine. Hang on. Mm. A good uh, Rivera del Duero, Torresilo. Oh. And uh, as I am not Irish, I'm going to take out my cap, my Irish cap, and instead of it, I'm going to put on a Spanish Montera. Hang on. God save Spain! Viva Irlanda! So pretty were the girls, were the girls, were the girls. Ah, so pretty, ah, so pretty were the girls, were the girls, were the girls, were the girls. Ah, so pretty were the girls, were the girls, were the girls.